Hello there. In this video, we're going to look at using a Figma plugin to help us build out our typography scales. So let's go. Okay, so now we're in Figma. I'm going to go up to the plugin section here and I've already got it here as one of my recents. So I'm going to click on type scales. So that loads up the plugin. And as you can see, we've got a selection of typography sizes. So we have a base size here of 16. You can change that. You can kind of drag your mouse up and down to change the sizes, or you can just double click and type that in. I'll leave that at 16 for now. We've got the different scales here. So we've got minor second, major second, minor third, major third, golden ratio, and so on. And these are very common ratios in typography that are used. So you can select those if you like. So I'm gonna stick with the major third. So you've got the line height here. And again, you can click and drag with the mouse if you wanna change the line height. I'm gonna leave that at 1.2. Okay, so now onto scales. So we've got six at the moment. I'm just gonna drop that down to zero so you can see. So on the left here in our preview, we've got a base size of 16 and we've got no scales that go above 16. So now as you slowly increase this number, I'm just clicking and dragging, it's scaling the typography to the amount of scales that I've got here in this box. So I'm just gonna put that up to six again. We've got the same here, but scaling down. So at the moment we've only got 13 pixels and 10 pixels, so two scales down from 16. If I just add four scales, it then adds two further options here to our typography scale. So the last item here, we've got rounded values here, 31 pixels, 25 pixels, 20. If I click on this, it then adds some decimal points here after the numbers. I'm just gonna keep these rounded for now. And something else I've just realized is if you double click on the text here, the preview text, you can type whatever you want. So I'm gonna put hello there, and I'm assuming I can just delete everything after it, which is really useful. At the moment I will edit undo that, but it's good to know. So if you wanted to customize that text, you can. And then click generate. And there we go, that's our typography scale. That's all nicely put in a frame. And we can use this when we're building out, say, a design system, or maybe we're building out a website and we just wanna have a set of scales that we can use when building out our designs. Okay, that's it for this quick video. I hope it was useful. Like and subscribe, add some comments, check out some other videos on my channel and I will see you in the next video. See ya.